Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here. And today we will create an absolutely amazing set. I'm actually quite excited because uh, this is a kind of style I really love and I really like. Have a wee preview of it in here. Amazing one stroke technique. Yes, my favorite one with the combination of the pink color, which I'm crazy about it this year, and also a crystals. Uh, so a fantastic combination all in one of my favorite things. I hope you will really enjoy watching this a little bit more advanced tutorial because I cannot show you only the easy stuff. And if you do, let me know down in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to uh, what you think about this tutorial. Let's start. You can see what we will create, like a bit zoom in, so a little blink and some painting. And I show you step by step how to create this look. So that was the thumbnail. Uh, on the pinky we go lazy and we will just apply the color. And I've got 203 really a baby pink nice color and then give it a cure do exactly the same on the other news because this will be our background And then give it a cure. Oh. Don't miss product on the sides. Next one. And because I have been showing you recently kind of easier designs, I thought it's a time to do something a little bit more advanced. And the last one. And then give it a cure. So on the pinky I'm just applying a second layer. Then the next one. And the last one. It's a very, very light baby pink. So on the pinky nail, just so it goes with the design, we are going to add a drop of some different color. And this is going to be a Sugar Rush number 200 because it quite looks like a magenta one. And then using a sponge, so I'm just cutting a fresh sponge. I'm just going to add a little bit of this color. Just kind of on the side. And then with the clean one, just going to blend it more. Yeah, 
and then give it a cure. We are going to create a same on our index finger. No, just searching my index finger. <laughs> so this will be the index finger. And then give it a cure. On the middle finger, where the design is going to be a pretty uh, decent, we are going to apply more of this color. So we will match the middle finger with the thumb. And then give it a cure. And the ring and the next one. So more from the top straight kind of way. And then give it a cure. On the pinky nail, cup crystals on. So the base gel on. I just got some mess in there. And the crystal placement. And I choose pink crystals just so everything goes really nice together. Give it a flash cure. And I've got some caviar bits in pink as well. Hardly visible, but they do really exchange the look of the design. And then give it a cure. Okay, 
Okay, on this one we are going to place some crystals as well. I'm just moving them into the correct place. Flash kill it. And then on this one, we are going to uh, paint the design. So I'm just going to clean the fluff. If you get the fluffs from the sponge, it's just because we didn't clean it. And I suggest always use the tiny bit of the sellotape or the uh, back of the form to clean it. Now I'm going to use the matte top coat. And then give it a cure. Same on this one. And then give it a cure. On the pinky, we can apply the shiny top coat. So high shine, no wipe top gel. And then give it a cure. To be honest, they look so pretty, even just the way they are. But once we paint the flower, they will be even more beautiful. Caviar beads. And I find that all brush is just perfect for the application of them. Also, when they apply with the base gel, they are staying on like no trouble at all. I had it many times on my nails and... Uh, they was staying on a really long time. It looks almost like a wee ring design or really beautiful. I also feel like when we've got the cover bits around the crystals, they never tend to come off either. That's all of them. And give it a cure. So the pinky nail is ready. 
so beautiful. I'm applying a drop of the blue tuck, actually white tuck, and place it into the mixing palette. Really stunning. And now we can move on into the next ones. So quickly apply the top coat. And give it a cure. Now our other nails are ready for a beautiful painting and I'm kind of back to basics uh, using what I like to use the most. Sorry for the noise. It is a kitchen foil. And I love using kitchen foil for a mixing just because it gives me a really nice results like I don't know the paint feels different maybe it's something to do with the heat like because uh, the foil works different than the plastic so for the paints I'm using a tiny bit of the baby wipes and we are going to use number 13 which is deep magenta again guys you know this is my favorite one drop of white drop of white and maybe a drop of pink why not And now we can start painting. So for the first part we are going to use the Demaster brush and that's the one stroke level 2 brush. So I'm just cleaning it and also watering my D-liner brush as well so it has the shape. White on the higher part, magenta on the lower part, mix the paints well. And first of all, I always load my brush because I need to do it uh, a couple times to make sure I've got enough paint. Don't shake too much. And we're painting those large petals. Same on the top. Don't touch them too soon. If they're too wet, you can really smudge them, so you have to be very careful. And those first petals are pretty large. Once we complete the fish row of the petals, we can start painting the ones inside. So there is a gap, so I'm just going to paint in between this gap.
same in here in between the gap Another petal here, so leave a small gap. Clean the brush, but keep it in a nice point. Okay, another small petal here and here. So my white is always outside. Okay, and the more inside we're going, the, the more visible petals you want. So again, very sharp white. Don't go to hide the white, which is underneath needs to be visible. Just a tiny wee petal. Same on the top in here. Really sharp white. Now just going to paint some leaves. Touch, 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 kind of press with the full brush and then go to the top. Clean my brush. Because now is uh, time for pretty difficult part, so we're just going to work really nice and clean. So pick up the paint, mix it really well. Like for this part, you want to have the paint right on, a, on your brush. White touch white on the top in here, so touch, come lower. Go higher. Okay, so we white touch white, go down, come up higher. Tiny wee leaf, and then two more leaves in here. Again, very clean pickup on your paint. So for some parts, we're kind of working more uh, messy, I would say, like where the colors are almost blended together. And for some parts, we want those definitions. Straight brush, very straight brush. And same on the bottom. We could squeeze one more petal there, but to do so I need to clean my brush. And pick up a fresh paint.
Okay, so very straight brush. And a tiny petal. Tiny relief. And this part is done, so we have to wait a couple seconds for it to dry, and then we can add the detail. Now quickly we are going to paint some rows in here as well. So first of all, kind of messy paint. Maybe not messy, but you don't want the white to be really white, you wanted it to be more pink. Very um, strong press of the brush. So really strong press of the brush. But in the meantime, to save the time, paint a couple of leaves. Or maybe not leave this place for crystals. Paint a couple of leaves here. Here. <laughs> Look how I'm changing the angle of the brush. Okay, and now we need to apply the color which is more visible. In between this petal. So in a gap I can go higher then I have to come up lower just so the part which is behind it is visible. Like you cannot have the petals which are too close because then the ones which are behind it you are not going to be able to see them. I'll load my paint again. And another petal in. Leave the gap. And again, in between the gap, petal in, going to the top. Clean the brush. I'm always making sure I've got uh, this uh, previous paint visible and then we have to wait for the top part to dry and do the closing for the rows. So very clean pickup of the paint. The 
then wait for it to dry and then we are going to close. So in the meantime I can paint another layer. And start outlining some parts as well. Because this middle needs to dry really, really well. So D-liner brush, lots of water in. Just going to roll my brush into a nice point and get a good consistency. Don't outline everything, then it looks so fake, like when it's too much. Some detail inside the leaves. And we will also paint some, a little bit of the lace as well. So the brush needs to be really nicely prepped. And then we've got some lace on the background. Same, a little bit of detail on this one. Uh, that will be enough. Okay, so quickly let's add the middle of this rose in here. I'm just cleaning my brush into a nice point. And for this part, you have no room for a mistake, like. So white touch white, coming down the way, and we have made the closing. We also have to squeeze in an extra petal here. And a tiny one there. Add some detail. A 
don't have too much paint on your brush because if you've got too much paint on your brush then uh, it is very difficult to paint very fine detail Okay, that's probably enough as well. We don't want to overdo it. The gems are going to go in here. So we could also paint a very small lace. This is when your brush goes wrong. Mm. And then opposite side. So this lace is also underneath of the lips. And just the same on the top. So you can also guys see it like the more beautiful designs, the more time consuming it is. That's, that's enough. Let's add some crystals and then we can Give it a cure. So base gel again. Here I'm not going for this large one just because we've got the freehand design so don't want to do it too much. And freeze it. Also, let's look on the index finger.
Okay, not over the top in this corner. and then freeze it. And the silver ones. Okay, not too many, just in some places. And then give it a cure. Now let's apply the top coat. Oh, actually, no, no top coat. We need caviar beads here. <laughs> Guys, please also hit the share button for me. I will really appreciate it. So on the last part, silver. And the pink one. And then the top coat. And I can't actually wait to show you the results with the top coat. Because then that's when the one stroke always pops in. So I'm just using the high shine no wipe top gel. Go around the crystals. And then give it a cure. And the top coat on this one. And again, I love this set. Like, I mean, we could do it uh, plain pinky and plain other nails. And then the design only on the ring finger or only on the one finger but also you could use uh, this idea only so make the nails plain and then just do a bit of sponging with the gems i think it looks uh, quite nice too but let me cure them and then show you the the full set So that's the ring finger, absolutely stunning ring finger. Mm. Don't want to touch them too soon because if you touch the top coat too soon, then it goes a bit dull. Like the top coat always needs to cool down uh, before you touch it. Mm. 
and yeah that's what we have created today absolutely amazing set so hit the share button for me let me know also down in the comments below if you want to watch more of those advanced kind of uh, looking nails not only the easy ones and i'm looking forward to read your comments glittery hacks and bye for now mm -hmm.